Annexation bill. I wouldn't even know how to read that one, so don't okay. even ask. Well, you. I think it's got to lay on the table. There ain't no hurry to okay. push that one through, so we're good. Okay, item number one is the annexation ordinance for Terry, Car Terry and Marilyn Carpenter's property on uh, 6th Street. Is it south? No, it's. I call it east. East 6th Street. South, okay. Street. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we are going to table that. Yeah. Uh, you want to take that one, Chad? Yes, table it. Okay. Uh, item number two is USDA application for community center financing. Uh, this is just to give the okay for us to uh, fill out the application for that. So, Jeff, you want to take that one? And item number three is the resolution for Mill Creek Golf Course rates. Jim, you want to take that one? Um, well, I, I look it over, and I, I guess I'm not really not sure what the. Are you proposing to increase everything on yeah. that? Okay. I, I really, like, like I said before, I had a little different perspective of that. Well, when you vote, you can vote no if you want to, but will you just bring the item up? Or are you ready I, not? Oh, I'll bring the item up. But uh, would okay. you like to, could we just talk about uh, a couple other things there? Uh, or, or are you rather not? Well, let's go over okay. it and then we'll go back. I okay. usually give you a chance to talk, so uh, do you want to take that one or not? I can okay. take it, yeah. Okay. Uh, item number four is a resolution to fly the blue. Uh, this is... Um, Asking that, uh, that every state, county, and city vehicle fly a blue ribbon during the week of May the 9th to the 15th. Uh, and then it will be the National Police Week. And this is the resolution for that, which I think is a good, a good thing. So you'll take that one, Joe? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, item number five is to ratify mayor's appointment for Kelly Diamond and Public Safety Dispatcher part time. Uh, Kelly actually started last Monday and uh, they're very pleased with her ability to do her job already, so hopefully that will work out good. And Joe, I'll let you take that one since that's police. Alright. And item number six is to appoint the Alabama League Municipal Voting Delegate at uh, the annual business meeting and this is the uh, yearly convention. So I guess I will be the voting delegate if y'all choose to do that. And then Warren, I think, is going also to the convention, so he could be the uh, alternate in case that I drop out. <laughs> so if uh, Jeremy, you want to take that one, please. Uh, item number seven is a street light request on 190756 Street. Uh, and I'll let Warren take that one if he gets here if he don't uh, sign it to someone else. Uh, I went and looked at that and I really can't find a street light on that street at all unless it's at the very, very end. So it's, it is needed. So. Uh, item number eight is a cellular, uh, cell phone policy. Uh, we've had the policy uh, on record for a while, but it just never has really came before the council. It was more like a verbal thing. Uh, so I just want the council to make this a policy that uh, will probably be a little more firm. And I think it's needed. Uh, I don't mind reading it if you'd like for me to. Uh, cell phones are a distraction in the workplace. To ensure the effectiveness in your job, employees are asked to leave cell phones in their personal vehicle. On the occasion of an emergency that requires immediate attention, your supervisor will contact you. 
the city of Central Mail understands and appreciates that supervisors utilize their cellular phones for business purposes while driving. Due to the recent research about the safety of cell phone use while driving, however, the city of Central Mail prohibits employee use of, use of cell phones for business purposes while driving. We recognize that other distractions occur while driving. However, eliminating the use of cell phones while driving is one way to minimize the risk of our employees of accidents. Therefore, you are required to either stop your vehicle so that you are you can see, stop your vehicle so that you can safely use your cell phone. Or you should ask the caller for permission to contact them at a better and safer time. Engaging in city business using a cell phone while driving is prohibited. Employees who violate this policy may be subject to disciplinary actions up to and including employment termination. So, we all know that how dangerous that is just by watching the news, uh, even though I'm guilty <laughs> in my own car. Um, Mayor, with that, I, I know that on occasion the police department has to use a cell phone while they're en route to calls and that type of thing. Would this policy also be inclusive of the police department when they're in pursuit of their duties? Uh, well, it does say in here that they can pull over and ask the person to let them get to a, a location where they can pull over. So I would think that would be sufficient. Mm -hmm. Yes, it would be because um, I told Amnick that we have zero policy. Okay. That's well, that's right. what I was wondering. If this is an insurance-related policy, that's what I want to understand. Yes. Okay. Yes. The other, I'd ask, it's in two places it says city, well, one place says business purposes, another place says city. What about personal calls? Well, it's just, I would think that... It doesn't address personal calls, does it? It only addresses your business purposes. Yeah, I would think that they would understand. I don't mind adding that, uh, but like if you're going to make a policy, it looks like it should be inclusive. Yeah. Find it again. Well, we can add. We, we cannot vote on that tonight, and we can add it. I don't know. So you uh, want to table that? Oh, we could just go ahead and just. I think let's just table that for tonight and get that verbiage added. Um, okay. You know, a cell phone call is a cell phone call. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. To me it is, but... Right. Mm -hmm. There's business or there's personal. Right. Well, you can just add that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do it, just add it. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to change. So not table it, just add it to it, Lord? Cell phone, circuit cell phone for personal and our, and our business purposes. In the second paragraph, and, and down okay, in the third okay. paragraph, engaging city business or personal calls using the cell phone drive is pretty easy. like that would yeah. Engaging in city business, well, I mean, the, the first paragraph dealt with personal calls. Well, they shouldn't be using their, per I mean, they're, oh, they're not allowed phone. for personal calls anyway. That's an ethics violation. Right. Well, it said, employees are asked to leave. Cell phones in their personal vehicles, so I was thinking that, that was kind of. So city cell phones can... shouldn't be used for personal purposes. Either. Either. All you need to do is remove um, those two words for business purposes. Mm -hmm. you have all city cell phones for personal use. Oh, you get that, Lloyd? Ma'am? Uh, Daddy said you could just remove the personal. Um, if you remove the three business. words for business purposes, uh, where right. it occurs in both of those sentences, you effectively included all calls. Sure. Okay. And that way you don't have to worry about. Okay, if everybody just strike that and then you can adopt it. All right. Okay. 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 Everybody good with that? Okay. Good. Jeff, you want to take that one? So we won't take it. Okay. okay, item number nine is the request waive fees at Davis Park for Citronelle Police 